All right. It is March 15th, uh, 2021, and this is day nine of the class. Good evening, Doris. How are you? Doris, how was your weekend? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. And how it, was you? Mm -hmm. It's uh, what it was fine. And tell me, Doris, what did you do? Um, I visited my family and... I visited? I visited my family? Yes. Mm -hmm. And... I going to the shopping. I went shopping. I ah, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. You continue. I help you. Don't worry. Uh huh. Mm, teacher, eh, una consultante, como para descansar, pero de reposo, no, no de morirse, digamos. Es que, <laughs> es que siempre lo encuentro como rest, pero mm. no sé si se asocia al de morir o descanso así como no hacer nada. <laughs> No, 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 it's correct. It's, rest. Yes, it's oh, rest. Okay. Yes. I, and in the past is I mm -hmm. rest, rest. I rested. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. And I rested in my house. Only that. Okay. Okay. Good. That's great. Carla, what about you? How was your weekend? I'm fine, teacher. Um, relax and, and change your mind mm -hmm. for the work. Um, Visit my family um, and visit to the lake, Lake Cuatepeque, oh. with my family. Um, and the, the Sunday, um, and how do you say, <coughs> un, un ratito, un momento? Um, a, a, a bit or a little bit. A little bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit in the lake, in the rest on the day, um, uh, rest in my home. Okay, okay. So nice, nice weekend, relaxing, a little the lake, a, a little in the house. Okay, good. And you, Joel, how was your weekend? Hi, everyone. Um, my weekend was was okay. What did you do, Joel? Well, I visited my my dad's house in Suchitoto. Ah, I, spent, okay. I spent there three days. And that's all. It's kind of a boring weekend. Okay. And you don't like Suchitoto? Yes, I, I, I like the, the town, but it's it's too hot for me, um, the weather. Yeah, and Suchitoto has a lake, right? Yes, and that's the reason why it's so hot in the city, <laughs> because of the lake. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember the name of the lake, but I remember it's, it's a big lake. It's a pretty yes, big it's lake. A, it's, it's an artifi artificial lake. It's called Suchitlan. Suchitlan. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, what's the name, Joel? I'm sorry. Suchitlan. 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 Yes. Yes. I, I guess. I'm not sure. As I told you, it's not it's not a real lake because it's artificial. Mm -hmm. it it's, it's correct. It's artificial lake. Yes, it is. Suchitlan. Mm. I thought this was. I thought this was the lake in, in Guatemala. Really? I didn't know that. No, in, no. in Guatemala, the lake is in, it's inside, is Panajachel, is Lago, Lake Atitlan. Atitlan, ah, okay, okay. That's why yeah, it's, it's... It's kind of similar. Yeah, that's why it sounds the same. That's why it's, I think, ah, Suchitlan. I think it's Guatemala, but no, Atitlan. Okay, thank you, Carla. Thank you. You're welcome, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, you know, for me, Joel, to be honest, I don't understand 
why? Well, I, I understand, but uh, because uh, Cuatepeque is close to San Salvador, it's easy to go, it's fast, 45 minutes, you are in Lago Cuatepeque relaxing. So Lago Cuatepeque has a lot of houses, a lot of expensive houses, right? I understand yeah. that I understand that uh, Lago Cuate, uh, 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 Lago uh, Ilopango, no, because uh, it's difficult to get there. The the communities are dangerous, and so it's different, a little bit different. But yes, that's true. But uh, in 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 this lake uh, in Suchitoto is big, is 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 very nice and. It's, it's not too difficult to get there. It's a little bit longer, but you can have a lot, a lot of houses in the area, very expensive houses. But no, when you go, it's not like Guatepeque. There are no big, yes. expensive houses. Yeah, that, is, yeah, that is true. But um, in the, the lake, it's not, a, it's not a good lake to swim because there's a lot of plants uh, flowing in the, in the shore. So... You can do. You cannot do a lot of things. Uh, for example, in the other lakes, Cuatepec and Ilopango, you can swim. You can uh, do jet 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 skis mm -hmm. and those kind of stuff. And in Suchitoto, you can you cannot do that because the there are a lot of plants in the in the shore. Uh, it's kind of dirty too. Yeah. No, it's no crystal uh, water. Okay. Nah, the same for Ilopango and Cuatepeque. <laughs> yeah. nah, the, the water is not crystal, is it? <laughs> but, but thank you, because I was thinking, wow, because for such, imagine, uh, I think there in Suchitoto is is big lake for jet ski and, and for a, a going in the boat or kayak or all of the, the these activities in the water. But and I don't understand why. But now now is is clear but, because yeah. But there's a lot there's a lot of restaurants um, with a great view to the lake. I don't know how to say uh, mirador in English. Ah, perfect. It's very. Good that you asked because it's a very common word. I'm putting it into the chat because it's not it's not just one word. Okay. 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 It's called lookout point. Lookout point. Okay. So there's a lot of lookout points in this in the city in the town. Oh, okay. And that's that's great. Mm -hmm. That is that is. But maybe I think that for for me. If I if I'm retired, if if I stop working, eh, Suchilan is perfect because it's not expensive like Guatepeque. It's bigger, but thank you for telling me Joel, that it's too hot. Yes, because... yes, it is. But but the the <laughs> hotels are really expensive. Really? Yeah, one night may cost you uh, more than one hundred dollars. No. Yeah, that's right. It is. I'm telling you the truth. That is ridiculous. Yes, and the food is expensive too. One plate, uh, one dish of food can cost you about twenty dollars, twenty-five dollars, because a lot of um, a lot of uh, tourists, interna turistas internacionales, international tourists, international tourists, uh, yeah, com comes to the, to the town. So it's common to see a lot of gringos walking in the park, and that's why everything is expensive around. Mm. Yeah, because that's ridiculous. That's more expensive than going to uh, the Cameron. Imagine the Cameron is seventy dollars, seventy nine in promotion. Yeah, but I'm telling you the truth. That's as, as I as I say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe you, but yeah. Well, it's part of the life. We see. We see. Well, what today what we're going to be taking a look at is in our unit, we're going to begin unit four, and we're taking a look at the gestures and feelings. Feelings are the emotions, for example, happiness, sad, anger, uh, uh, nervous, worry. Those are the feelings. Gestures, gestures are the actions that you do to demonstrate these things. Okay, so we're going to watch a small video and we're going to try to match the feelings 
to the gestures, okay? What feelings are in the gestures, okay? So if you are in your um, platform, this is 4.1, but if you are not in the platform, don't worry. I am going to share the video with you in this moment and we can talk about it. He's rolling his eyes. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to take a look at the following images and listen to the following expressions. Remember to play the audio program and repeat it as many times as you need to. He's biting his nails. He's rolling his eyes. He's scratching his head. He's tapping his foot. He's turning his hair. He's wrinkling his nose. Now I want you to use the previous expressions with these adjectives to describe how the man is feeling. Annoyed bored, confused, frustrated, impatient. Okay, so let's take a look. Here we have the idea that I said, okay. Sorry, I'm gonna take a picture of it because we are going to make our little groups and we're going to make sure that we practice it together. Uh, let me see. Let me just take a picture to put into the WhatsApp for those that are on the cell phone. Okay, so what do we want to do? Well, with our partners, we want to do two things. We want one to match the sentence in his eyes, the sentence that are here. We want to match to the pictures. Okay, so we want to take a look at which are the correct, sorry, which are the correct gestures. Okay, the ones that are the images there. Then in part two is we want to take a look at all of the things that are in letter B, all of those emotions and match them to the gestures. So two, first letter A, match the gesture to the sentence. Then number two, match the emotions to the gestures. Is that okay? Is it clear? Yes. Teacher. yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, perfect. teacher. All right. So let's make our groups. Uh, like I said, if you are in the platform, it's 4.1. If you are in your cell phone, it's in the WhatsApp group. Okay. All right. So let's go to our groups and let's see. Lisette, are you there? Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening. I'm going to send you to the group, okay, Lisette? Okay. 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 in the platform okay uh, i don't remember what what we need to do teacher remember what is the tax for this tonight class okay is we are in exercise 4.1 in the platform or okay. in, or the picture in whatsapp it, the task is one in letter A, match the sentence to the picture. So the what you see with the action, the sentence. This is number one. Then, okay. um, then number two is the emotion or the feeling match to the gesture, match to the action. Okay. 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 So we have two activities. Activity one is the picture and the sentence, which go together. Okay. Then activity two is the emotion and the sentence. Which ones go together? Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Yes, the match the, the figures with the sentences. Okay. 
Uh, I need to put a game. Yes. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to take a look at the following images and listen to the following expressions. Remember to play the audio program and repeat it as many times as you need to. He's biting his nails. He's rolling his eyes. He's scratching his head. He's tapping his foot. He's turning his hair. He's wrinkling his nose. Now I want you to now I want you to use the previous Quiero retrocederle un poquito para poner la, la pintura. La, 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 espérame. Que te no sé por qué no la. Tendría que irme esta por aquí. Times, 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 Ahí, ahí, ahí. Este, ahora vamos a hacer la, la, la. Las. He's beating his nails. Los está. Beating his nails, right? He's nervous. Yes. Yes. So. The letter E, for example. Which one? Which one? Impatient. Impatient. Creo. Impatient. Impatient. I'm sorry. Yeah, the letter impatient. E. Letter E, yeah. Yeah, that's right. And confused the letter C or letter F. Yeah, it could be. Los dos tienen cara. Yeah. Um letter uh frustrated could be letter F. Yes. Yeah. No. Another one. Uh, I think there's someone. Someone else in this group? Someone new? Alejandro. Yes, it's, it's me. Alejandro. <laughs> Alejandro. Uh, what are we going to do? I don't know. In the letter A, we are going to associate the the, the number one with with the pictures and, and on and on. For example, he's biting his nail, and you have to search for the correct uh, picture. Ah, his body, his nails, letter D. Yeah. D. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, do it. Is C. Yeah. Catching his head is A, A I think. Oh, no, F. F. I can yeah. see the, the another picture. Is stopping his foot is letter E. Yes. His turtling his hair is A. And his wrinkling his nose is B. Yes, that's right. And in the second part, in the part B, we are we have to use the pictures in, in part A and and use these adjectives: annoyed, bored, confused, disgust, embarrassed, exhausted. Uh, as as an as as the example said, in the first picture, he's twerking his hair. He looks nervous, and then you can continue with, for example, annoyed. I I, I understand. I, you you didn't understand? Yes 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 I understand I understand. Okay okay okay, okay. got it. Okay. Um, 
in the second picture, he's crinkling his nose and he looks uh, frustrated, I think. Frustrated. Or frustrated, yes, or irritated. Or, yeah, yeah, that, that's, I think that's, that's, that's the correct, irritated. In the third picture, uh, he is. Uh, I think the first uh, he beating his nails is a letter D. Correct. Um, and answer two, he is rolling his eyes is letter C. Uh, he is scratching his head. Um, uh, I think a letter F. Yes. Uh, his iPad, his foot is letter A E. Letter E. E E E. 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 Uh huh. Uh, he is drinking his. Air is letter A. Letter A. Uh, he is reading and his letter B. Uh -huh, and is letter B. Correct. Yeah. But what is the correct word for those expression? Expression in the picture, the part eight. In this. For example, B uh -huh. is a uh, Impatient, impatient. Yes. Or letter letter E is impatient too. Impatient, see letter E. Yes. I'm thinking e. the letter A. Okay, great. I see we have most of those were very good. We have just a few words that we want to practice the pronunciation. And that was wrinkling the nose, which is the when the person goes like that. Sometimes when they're disgusted, when they don't like something, they, mm, they smell something, they don't want to eat it, something like that. The other one was with the eyes, it's rolling the eyes. It's like when the person is um, they're, they're tired of the same thing again. They go, ah, and they roll their eyes. They, not again, right? Many times it has to do with irritated, um, irritated that, okay? Were there any of them that were not clear? Any that you're, that you're not sure what they mean? That's clear for me. Okay, okay. So remember, all of those are, those actions are called gestures. They're gestures, and then we have feelings, right? Um, we're going to be looking at gestures from around the world, gestures from different cultures. So first, we're going to watch a small video of uh, people discussing gestures and a new person and what they do that is different than compared to their society. So. Let's watch first the video, and then we'll talk a little bit about what's happening in the video. Met Raj. Hi, welcome back. Listen to the following conversation and pay attention to the use of models and adverbs as they speak. Remember, you may practice the conversation with a friend or a classmate. After the conversation, you will listen to the explanation. Have you met Raj? Part A. Listen and practice. Have you met Raj, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. You know, like this. 
Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Okay. So, let me go back just a little bit. All right. There. So, we have a conversation about Raj, who is the new student. And tell me, what's what's going on with Raj? What What is the gesture that he's doing that they don't know what it means? I'm sorry, teacher, what is the question? What gesture, what action is Raj doing that they don't know what it means? Or they don't uh, understand? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Raj is the man, he has a long hair. No, he has a yellow hair. No, Raj yeah. is, is the, the one with the black hair. Yeah, okay. Well, I think that he, he's confused. He's confused because he's rolling his hair. And maybe for me, he doesn't understand that the other man can say to him. Or he is trying to pay attention, but he looks confused. Okay. I don't know. Okay, okay. So for you, he looks confused. Uh huh. In in the conversation, what do they say? What is the what is that meaning when the person from India moves their head from side um, to side? Okay. They they when they I they are agree with the conversation with another person. They they move. Uh, they rolling their hair for different reason. I don't know. It's mm -hmm. a custom maybe. Okay, that's right. Yeah, that's what it means. And here in our, in the sentences, in the conversation, we can see um, what they talk about because they use the words like maybe, it could, and this means that you are expressing your ideas, your opinion about what is the possibility. So when you say maybe, it means you don't know. You are guessing or you are trying to say it, right? The say where, when it says it could mean he doesn't agree. Um, this is a possibility. You're not sure. But then we have the other one where it says, actually, okay. Oh, that means um, that definitely, okay. They, that this is what really the meaning is. So we're going to practice a couple of things, okay. So with our partners, first we're gonna practice the conversation, okay. So we have a couple of people in the conversation. We, we want to practice with our partners speaking. So we'll say one and then our partner will say one. Okay. As you can see in the conversation, there are actually three people. So we're going to have groups of three and each of us is going to be one person. We're going to be Raj or Pete or the other friend. So wait, let me make sure we have Ron, Emily. Yeah, Ron, Emily and Peter. Okay. So in our groups, we're going to practice it, Ron, Emily, and Peter, and we're going to change roles, okay, so that we all have opportunities to practice the idea. In the first time that we practice, the first time, it's okay. You go slowly, you pronounce correctly, you think about, you read what you are saying. In the second and third time that you practice with your partners, because we're going to practice three times, one time Ron, one time Peter, and one time Emily, and what you want to do is in the second and third time, you want to worry about the fluency. You want to go quickly, okay? In the first time, no. The first time is go correctly. Pronounce, read the words, make sure you understand. But in the second time is try to speak faster, okay? It's okay? Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. Let's begin then, three times with our partners. Thank you. 
Okay, we need to practice like this. Um, let me share now. Okay, let me check for me, for me a second. Okay. Share, share, share. Okay, that's right. Well, the teacher told us that we need to practice our pronunciation, our conversation. Uh, but the conversation is about, is about this conversation or I need to improve? Hi, welcome back. Listen to the following conversation and pay attention to the use of models and adverbs. Sorry? No, nothing. Ah, okay. Uh, can, I, can I put the video? Carla. Maybe she isn't there. Okay, Doris. Okay. Okay, if you want, let me. I ah, know Carla. She isn't yet. Okay. I don't know because I is sharing the screen. I don't see if Carla no. is or no, not. No, I, I think Carla lost the connection because she was there, but then disappeared. So I think maybe the internet, she lost her internet. No, oh, okay. probably. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're okay, welcome. if you want, you could, could you be Emily? And I will be Ron and Peter. Okay. Okay, have you met Rat, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, um, he seems really nice, but there's one, there's one thing. I noticed he moves his head from side to side when you talk to him. To know like this? Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, India. No, I haven't. Well, it seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. Uh, he moved his head from side to side when you told to him. You know, like this. Uh, yeah, but you you don't seem <laughs> okay. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I I don't think I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, uh, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what I what it means. Okay. Okay, great guys. So now that you practice the pronunciation and you went slowly, now you want to practice with f for fluency. You want to practice going quickly to try to become more natural, okay? So now the focus is not the pronunciation. The focus is to be fluent. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you want, I, I gonna be wrong this time. And you could be uh, Emily. Okay, no problem. Okay. Have you met Ra, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing I noticed. He moved his head from side to side when you talk to him, you know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you? Actually, people from I don't think that. that that was Lisette. Does Lisette have problems with the microphone? Lisette? Hola. Are you there? Ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we have three person, persons. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Emily, Ron, and Peter. No, I don't. I think so. 
or it could mean that he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their head from side to side when they are they agree with you. Oh, oh. so that is what it means. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Now we need to speak fluency. Correct. Now you practice the fluency. Try to go faster. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who is wrong? I'm going to be wrong this time. Okay. Have you met Rao, the student from India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems right nice, but there is one thing I not noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you walk when you talk to him, you know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's like what it means. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's... Ah, 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 teacher, is, teacher are you? <laughs> okay, okay. Heaven. Well, he seems really nice, but there's one thing. I noticed he moved his head from side to side when you talk to him, you know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their heads from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. Hello, teacher. Hey, I, it's good that you practice even with no Carla. It's good. Yeah, we were practicing to, to improve our fluency. Great. Teacher, puedo decir, to get improved, puedo decir, para conseguir una mejor, no, no to no. improve. To improve. Mm -hmm. to improve. You look different, teacher. Uh, you, did you cut your hair? I shaved my beard. Ah, it's for that reason that you look different. <laughs> yeah, I shaved the you beard. Look, you look, you look younger. That's what, the, <laughs> that's what my, my wife and children say, that when I shave, I look younger. They say, no. Nah. <laughs> How many childs do you have, teacher? Three, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm old. Dice, ¿cuál es, ¿Qué edad tiene el mayor? How uh -huh. old is the, the, the Tallest, no, no, it's the most oldest. The oldest. How old is the oldest? Ooh, I am, I, I am old. So my my oldest is twenty two. Is really? 20, yeah. My daughter, my daughter, eh, my daughter, mi niña tiene también veinte dos años. ¿Cómo sería? My daughter. My is daughter. Twenty two years old too. Correct. Correct. Okay, my daughter is twenty. He's 22 years old too. Uh huh. My my son is 22. My daughter is 17. This year wow. she's going she's going to be 18 this year, and wow. and my youngest son is he is 13 and he's going to be four year uh, sorry 14 years old this year. Wow, it's great, teacher. Congratulations. The Thank big you. families are beautiful. Yes, and I have two grandchildren. I have two, one granddaughter and one grandson. My granddaughter is five years old and my grandson is, was born in December. Oh, really? Wow, mm -hmm. congrats. Wow, explain. Yeah, yeah. so I have, a, well, a, a big family, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a beautiful. Pretty... The big families are beautiful, teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Expensive, but beautiful. <laughs> yeah, are very expensive, I know, yeah. It's for that the reason that I have only uh, one daughter. <laughs> That's it. It's enough. <laughs> but it's necessary <laughs> the that, that brother no que tengan un hermano. It's necessary 
that the guys has uh, one brother or sister. Yeah, yeah, it helps. I think it's easier for, for, for the children. Yeah, for mm -hmm. the children. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go back. Okay, thank you. Okay, well, great. I see everybody was practicing, working on the fluency, improving on it, and the pronunciation. Great job. Now we're going to continue the same ideas of looking at feelings and gestures, but we're going to learn a little bit about adverbs. Adverbs are the words that we use when we're describing and we don't know we are or we are not sure, okay? These are the words that are very common that we use. Let me show my screen with you so it's clear. These are very common to use, like the words like might, may, could. And these are very common. Um, we're gonna watch a small video and then I'll explain to make sure everything is clear. Means. Ready? Let's talk about models and adverbs. Notice they both go from a slight to a strong possibility. Don't go and stay for more. Let's look at this small diagram. So when we're talking about slight possibility, that means a little possibility, a small possibility, right? When we talk about a strong possibility, that means that it's very high or you believe that's it. So the first one, the first line is for mm, small possibility. The second line is for so-so possibility. And the third line is the strongest possibility. See that? That will help you understand a little bit better. Program ...to illustrate what we mentioned in the intro video. Models and adverbs go from slight possibility to strong possibility. Models, it might, may mean, it could mean, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe, Perhaps it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Therefore, this is how we're going to use models and adverbs. When we're not sure about the meaning, we use models of possibility. For example, might, may, could, or we may use adverbs such as maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. And when we're sure about the meaning, we use the model must or adverb definitely. If we go back to the chart, we will realize we use the base form of the verbs when we use model verbs. And when we use adverbs, we need to be careful with the verb. The verb must be used in third person singular. In other words, we add final S on the verb means. Something else that is important to know is the use of maybe and perhaps. These adverbs always go at the beginning of a sentence, whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. Okay, so we can see, we can see we have several different ones, right? Uh, we have Are you ready to come up with your own sentences? Share with possibly, probably. Okay. So there we can see we use adverbs like maybe, perhaps, possibly. We also use the other ones like might, may, and could. But all of them help us because they're all part of the same rule. And the rule is that the, the small possibility or the one that, mm, that you don't know, you are not sure, is might, may, or maybe, or perhaps. The ones that are so-so, mm, you have an idea, then this is for could, possibly, and probably. And then the ones where you are, ah, yes, I know, this is what it means. These are the ones that we use that are must and definitely. So it's the list for us to, to help us understand when do we use them, okay? So we use them from the, we have, the highest or the one that is the, the strongest meaning is must and definitely. Then we have the idea for could possibly or probably, a little bit more. 
Then we have a little, the one that we don't know is might or may or maybe or perhaps. Okay. So the idea. Of, yes. I have a question. Uh, what does mean? For, for example, ¿qué significa es eso? Como por, it must mean. Eh, así como en español. ¿Qué, qué quiere decir? It must ¿Cómo? mean. Is the, Ajá, el significado. Yes, exactly. Is the, This is the mean or this is definitely. Pero so, como, uh -huh. O sea, como por decir, yo creo, yo pienso, o no estoy tan segura, o cómo. No, 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 ok, hang on, wait, wait, eh, one moment, one moment, let me share, ok, ok, Jesse, eh, a ver, el, el, a cuál se refiere, Jesse, tal vez no le entendí. A, 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 a lo de los modal, por ejemplo, es que vaya, it, it may mean, pero, o sea, esto podría significar, o sea, cómo, cómo se, es que no sé cómo explicarlo, cómo podría yo traducirlo en español, qué es lo que yo quiero decir, it could mean, que, que, eh, ¿Cómo podría saber o cómo se dice? Eh, ¿cómo Todos son lo mismo que en español. Son exactamente lo mismo. Entonces, nosotros tenemos tal vez, quizás, eh, probablemente, ah. el, uh, pro, o sea, todo eso es lo mismo que los modos y adverbs. Entonces, dependiendo, ah. dependiendo cómo te sentís, dependiendo qué tan certeza es, eso es lo que es. Por ejemplo, ah. eh, eh, Jesse, tenés novio. No, 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 esposo. Esposo, ok. Yeah. Es esposo, perfecto. Ahora, si yo le, si le preguntamos a Nuria y le dice, mira, Nuria, ah, vino el esposo de Jesse, llegó noche, volvió a, a perfume de mujer y tenía eh, pinta labios en el cuello. Y Nuria me dice, ¿qué crees que pasó? Ah, en, ahí. It's not me. En, What a good example, teacher. A, a good example. Exacto, porque ahí es con que definitivamente, it must mean. Ahora, pero ahora, ¿qué pasa si cambiamos ese y decimos, ah, ok, el esposo de Jesse llegó tarde, eh, que es un poco inusual, pero ha estado empezando a llegar tarde todas las noches. Ah, mm -hmm. entonces ahora no es más, pero ahora es que, ah, it might mean, it may mean. ¿Por qué? Porque no tenemos ninguna certeza, no, no estamos seguros. Entonces, it might y el... It might mean, it, eh, y el may mean, o maybe, o el perhaps, es, es eso. Nos dan de qué tan seguro, o sea, lo más seguro es must. Sí, eh, ya, ya entendí okay. como la idea. Ajá, ya. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Gracias. De nada, de nada. Ok. Anybody else? It's, it's okay for everyone? Yes, it is. Yes? Ok. Ok. So, now, what are we going to do? Well, now with our partners, we want to use these in sentences, okay? We want to use might, may, could, maybe, perhaps, okay? Uh, possibly, probably. We, we, we want to mix and try to use different situations. What, what do you think, okay? So, for different things, for example, uh, the, the vaccine, in El Salvador, oh, it could mean we we go back to normal, okay? The computers for the children, ah, it might mean a better possibility, better education, okay? Or um, uh, Surf City, ah, this is, a, it definitely means a, more jobs for the people in this area, whatever. We are only, your opinion, the topic is free but you need to use the grammar so the topic is free but it's necessary to use the grammar is that okay it's okay okay let's go let's practice
Okay, it's in the WhatsApp also. So if, if, if you want, you can look in the WhatsApp, the sentences. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is also in the WhatsApp, the, the same models in case you want to check. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. So, for example, may Doris can ask, can ask you, Nuria, or you can ask Doris. And any question, for example, Doris, what do you think? Uh, you know, uh, do you think it's going to rain? Ah. Do I, 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 in the in the sky, I see clouds. Oh, it might mean tomorrow is going to rain. But for example, is the topic is free. Only is necessary to use the correct grammar. Okay, Doris, uh, do you know what that should mean when Asaquan is flying? <laughs> What's the <laughs> meaning of what that can? <laughs> Asaquana, do you know what Asaquana teacher? No, I don't. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Asaquana son unos pajaritos que pasan antes de que inicie el invierno. Es la um, señal que ya viene el invierno, los Asaquanes. Uh, <laughs> I don't me either. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> Busquen, me van a ver a Asaquana. <laughs> Ahorita. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know, but go ahead. Did you? Yeah. I have a question. Um, what is the correct pronunciation of it might or may mean? Oh, the, sec the first one was correct pronunciation, it might. The, the second is it might. May uh -huh, that, is, that is correct, it might. It the might. second is it may. It may. It may. It may. Uh, so so uh, no 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 n no no main only it may may it could mean may no try it may oh, okay may yes uh -huh. it so it may mean it may mean yes that is okay. correct mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. It might mean. It might. It I see the answer one yesterday in Lake Guatepeque. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. I see the fears. Okay, teacher. Do you know, teacher Carla knows who are Asaquanes? What is Asaquanes? Yes, it's a signal for. She saw, she saw them yesterday. Yes, I I, I see the Asaquana yesterday in the lake. Really? In the yeah. sky. Yes. Yeah. What she color, always, what she color always are they? Flying. What? What color are the birds, Carla? Uh, the birds is a color black. Um, mm -hmm. in the same for the bird the sope. Mm -hmm. In the same. Oh. Like a sope. He looks he looks they look like a sope. Okay. Okay. It could mean. For... Mm -hmm. It could yes, mean. Yes, continue, Nire. ¿Cómo sería, teacher? Eso, esto podría significar que va a llover en los próximos días. It could mean that it's going to have raining. No, no, no have, no have, no have. No have. It, it could mean it's going to rain. It could mean it's going to rain later. 
Yes, or in the next few in the next few days. In the next few days, Please. okay. Mm -hmm. it, it's could, it could mean okay. Yeah. It's coming to no. claim it. It's coming running raining a few days. No. Re no. Re no. Re uh, repeat again, Carla. I, let me help you with the pronunciation. Try again. <laughs> Sorry. No Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, I think it's the signal for the climate. Uh, climate? Climate. Mm -hmm. Climate raining a few days. No. No. No, no, no. I, 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 okay. It, so we need to use one of those models or adverbs. So um, it, it could be a signal or it might be a signal, whichever one you want to use. Ah, okay. It could mean. It could, ah, okay. it could, it could mean um, that it's going to rain in the next few days. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know the models or the purpose. Okay, okay. So, is... so, so the models, the, the might and the may is a small possibility. The could, the could, the possibly, and the probably is the possibility more. And the must and definitely is yes. Yes, is going to happen. Okay. okay. The answer is it it could mean for uh, the Aquarius is a rainy climate, climate a few days. What? Climate. 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 Lo voy, lo voy a notar. <laughs> climate. Yes. Okay, or a climate. Yes, but it's not necessary. We, okay. okay, so you don't we don't use climate or the raining climate in English. So only you use the action. For example, it it, it it could mean it's going to rain in the next few days, not necessarily the climate. Uh -huh. Is the same for when you say uh, red, black, yellow. In English, it doesn't exist. That, or is not necessary uh, the color black. I like the color black. No, I like black. The moment you say black is the color. It's not necessary repeat two times. Oh. It's more condescension. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go back to the group. All right, Joel, any questions? No, teacher, it's clear for me. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. All right, uh, ladies, gentlemen, any any questions? Anything that is not clear for the models? Is that is okay? The idea for might, may, could, all of these models. Uh, the meaning is that okay for you? I think so. Yes, teacher, sure. he's clear. Okay. And remember, also today we saw uh, the idea for gestures and feelings. Uh, gestures are the physical actions, the feelings are the emotions. Uh, the important is that uh, we're going to continue practicing and we, we try to use it. It's not, it's not the first time and you memorize. No, you need to use. Ah, it might, I may, it must, okay? So uh, as an example, if uh, Joel says, I have my diploma for, Joel says, I have my diploma for intermediate three. Ah, for me, it must mean he completed all the activities. That's when you use it. When you give your opinion, when you have an idea and you say, ah, it's a high opinion, uh, then we use the words is must and definitely. Mm, when we have an idea, it could 
possibly or probably. And the last one, I don't know, this is might, may, maybe, or perhaps, okay? So we are going to practice more tomorrow. Remember, keep working in the platform. We are already in unit four. So you should be complete unit three and complete the uh, midterm test already, okay? So, okay, teacher. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Have a great night, and we continue tomorrow. Okay. We Thank you, teacher. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Have a good night. Bye -bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good night. You too.